Hey guys, my name is Ancaso and I'm here to show you my concept of fully automated mining in vanilla Minecraft which is able to go from the top layer all the way down to the bedrock. And what you need to do for that is you need to encase the area you want to have mined out in glass, dirt or basically any other block which silverfish can't mine and you have to encase it all the way down until the point where you want the mining to stop so this would be bedrock level in this case. Then you want to pick a center spot, well it does not have to be the exact center of your area but it should be the rough center and you want to make sure there's a mi maximum of 15 blocks to each wall and there's no ore, gravel or dirt underneath this uh, block. So I choose this, this block over here and I want to pillar up gravel 5 blocks high. And the next thing I want to do is I want to get a silver fish in a minecart up on this block. And I use a spawn hack for that right here. But you are actually able to do this in survival by just luring a silver fish from a spawner into a minecart and transporting the minecart all the way to the area you want to have mined. Next thing you want to do is you want to pillar up gravel. Four high all around this um, silver fish with uh, two blocks in between. And on all of that, uh, of those gravel blocks, you want to get a minecart with a um, snow golem in it. So let me just quickly demonstrate how you do that. And as you see, the snow golem immediately starts to attack the silverfish, but isn't able to hit it. And that's good because we don't want the silverfish to get hit uh, yet. So you want to get all the all your three snow golems set up. If I don't have the gravel, he uh, didn't have the gravel here, I could easily do a fourth snow golem, which would increase my mining speed. So as soon as you got all the snow golems in place, you want to remove three bo blocks of uh, two blocks of gravel actually from the center um, pillar, so the silver fish will actually get start to hit and the only thing you uh, need to do now is you need to lure silverfish in this area and I've already have silverfish right here and you need about like 5 to 10 and as you can see as soon as the blocks underneath those gravel pillars get destroyed the um, gravel pillars go down by one block and the silverfish is still able to get hit by those um, by those snow golems, um, though it will take quite a while to happen, so I will just... Oh, it did happen, happen right there, I guess, but I will just move uh, move them down all by one block, because I don't really want to wait that long. And as you see, the silverfish will now get start um, to get hit by them, and this will lower the whole construction down, and the silverfish all around that will start to pop out eventually and mine out this whole area and leave behind only the dirt, the gravel and all the ores. And yeah, that's basically my principle for fully automated mining in Minecraft. I have to give some credit to Spellflux since he was the one who gave me the original idea of using snow golems and silverfish for fully automated mining, though his design had the major flaw of not being able to get all the way down to the bedrock. This isn't much more than a proof of concept video, so there, I'm sure there's a more efficient design to do that. But I just wanted to prove that it is possible to uh, fully automatically mine an area all the way down to the bedrock level as long as those gravel pillars don't hit, uh, hit ores, gravel or dirt or a cave on their way. And yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you create some cool designs with it or use it to, in survival mode to dig out some big holes. If you want to dig out bigger areas, just make the just make more of those machines and encase them all in a in a single glass wall. And yeah, that's basically it. Please leave a comment, rate or subscribe and see you guys next time.